The first thing you need to do in order to access your online lessons via Teams is you need to log in to your email accounts that were set up by school. To do this, you simply need to type in Microsoft Office in your search engine and you need to find the one that says www.office.com. You could also type that into your search bar. So you go on to Office here and you get a screen similar to this. You will need to sign in using this button here. It's in a little orange box on the left hand side of the screen. There's also the option to do it up here as well. Now, just a quick reminder that your email addresses start with a number. Um, up on the screen now, you can see the different numbers for your year group. So if you're in year 11, it'll start with 16, year 10, 17, year 9, 18, year 8, 19, and year 7, 20. And once you put the number, you need to put a hyphen or dash. Then it is your surname, another hyphen, and then the first letter of your first name. So for example, if I was in year 11, my email address would look like this, 16-pierce-j. Okay, so once you manage to sign in to Outlook, it will look something like this. It won't look exactly the same, but it will look similar. Um, you can see down the left-hand side, you have all the different sections that your uh, Outlook account is um, broken down into. You need to go onto where it says Inbox. So in your inbox, you should receive an email from your teacher um, about your lesson that, that schedules your lesson. So you can see up here that I've got an email that's from me. And you can tell it's from your teacher because you'll be able to see here where it says jp at brownhillsoa.co.uk. You can see that's from a member of staff at school. Um, it gives you the date and time of the lesson here. And there's often um, some extra details that your teacher can add. So for example, there's some information here that's important to remind you what you need to have ready for your lesson. So you can see here that in this email, we've got um, the Microsoft Teams meeting below, the important information here. You can switch between messages and meeting details, but they're very, very similar. And up here, you can see it says RSVP. It is really, really important that when you get this email through that you click on this. So you click on RSVP and it gives you the option to say, yes, you will attend the question mark, which is not sure, and the X, which is not attending. You will need to click on this tick, okay? When you click on this tick, what happens is, is that the meeting is scheduled into a calendar that is available on Microsoft Teams. This is when you will need to go to Microsoft Teams. In Microsoft Teams, you'll need to sign in using the same details that you use to log in to Outlook. And this is one of the pages that you see on Microsoft Teams. If you look down the left-hand side, I'm just running my mouse across it now, you can see we have some different icons here. Once you've accepted your RSVP to the lesson, you go onto Microsoft Teams and you click on Calendar, and a calendar of your week appears here. And you can see that because I've pressed Attending, it has scheduled my music lesson with myself for 12 o'clock today into that calendar. It's also got a join button here. So to join the lesson, all we need to do then is click on join. What this allows you to do is it allows you to see the plan of your day and schedule what's going to happen at what points of the day. This will really help you manage your time as well as possible. So this is really, really important that you follow this structure. When you're ready to join the lesson at the given time, you simply need to click on join. It may be that a screen like this appears once you've clicked on join. You won't be able to turn your camera on or your microphone on, but what you do need to click on is computer audio. 
And what that allows you to do is it allows you to hear everything that is being said in the meeting. This will turn this join now button purple and you simply need to click on that to join the meeting. It may be that this screen doesn't appear for you and that's absolutely fine as well. That just means that it's set it up ready for you in advance and it should be working without any issues. Once you've clicked on join now, you will join the meeting and you might get a screen at the bottom that says waiting for others to join whilst everybody is in the waiting room waiting for the meeting to start. You're now going to watch a short video from Microsoft where they'll explain to you some other features of Teams that will be really helpful for your online learning. I'll be showing the All Assignments view in Microsoft Teams, which can show all of the assignments across a student's set of classes in one nice view. So I'm here in my science class. I'm Alex, the student. And just to show the assignments in this specific class, I go to Assignments up on the top here. So I click Assignments. And you'll see that I have one assignment cell structures that's due tomorrow. So that's just this one class. Well, what if I have a bunch of classes and I have assignments across all of those classes? Well, if I go over here on the left, there's this assignments button. And if I click that, what you're gonna see is all of my assignments across multiple classes. There's my science class at top, but I have civics, art, Spanish, algebra, and they're all sorted in date order. So this is a really nice view to see all your assignments across all of your classes. I could even see the completed assignments below as well across all of my classes. Now I'm gonna show what this looks like on a mobile phone because it works there too. Here I am in the Teams mobile app and I'm a student and you can see all my classes. I'll click on the bottom and choose assignments and see all of my assignments. Now you can see my full assignments list all my classes, all my assignments in date order, just like we saw in Teams desktop. There's my completed assignments. So everything's right here in one nice view. Now, just to wrap up, now I'm signed in as the educator and the all assignments view also works for the educator. So while I can go to science and look at my single assignment that I've given out, I can go over on the left-hand side and choose assignments. And here's all of the assignments that I've given out across all of my classes. So it's the same view for the educator as well, and also for return.